It doesn't seem that long ago when I reviewed the Dark Trooper Attack LEGO set and thought, damn, LEGO should really make a version of this but of the Tantive 4 Borden scene. Well, now they have, and here it is. And surprisingly, this set isn't a diorama which most of us expect it to be. So is this set still worth buying, even with this included exclusive minifigure? Let's take a look. So this set being the Borden Attentive 4 set number 75387. This is one of several sets celebrating 25 years of Lego Star Wars and therefore includes an exclusive minifigure which we'll definitely be taking a look at later on. The set itself features a sectional build of the interior of the Attentive 4 spaceship along with some player features built in. Seven minifigures including Storm and Rebel Troopers, a Captain Antilles and Darth Vader himself as well as the exclusive minifigure we spoke about a little bit earlier. This set depicts the scene from the fourth Star Wars film, A New Hope, where Darth Vader and his stormtroopers board the Tantive Force spaceship in pursuit of the stolen Death Star plans, which he believes are hidden on this spaceship. This set usually costs $49.99, but again, Game in the UK have been on a roll with pricing and I managed to get this set for only £40, which I am very happy about and I don't anticipate going much lower than that. Taking a look at the box art, we do have a lot going on with the special graphics used to differentiate this set from other sets that aren't part of the 25 years of LEGO Star Wars celebration, which is nice to see. This includes the graphic in the bottom left corner showing that exclusive minifigure in this set, that being Ark Trooper 5s. And out of all the figures I think this one's probably the most sought after. Looking at the rest of the box in the center ish we have the set all assembled with Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers on the left side of the set and the Rebel Captain and Troopers on the right side of it. In the background we can also see a still image use of the scene that this set is depicting and moving to the bottom right we get a look at all the minifigures included in this set. Turning this box around we see the set again but Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers have managed to overcome the Rebel resistance and we see Darth Vader asking Captain Antilles very nicely if he could please have those Death Star plans. Nicely of course. Above the set we see some of the mechanical parts of this set, them being some levers that activate some parts of the floor to topple over the minifigures and a lever to open the door of the spaceship. In the box we find five plastic bags full of parts which is strange because this is a newer Lego set and Lego is in the middle of transitioning to paper bags but anywho we also have a sticker sheet with nine stickers on and instructions for the build. So building this set was really fun. It started off a little bit complicated with making the mechanism for the doors to open but once that was in place it was just adding details like these tiles that make up the walls of the ship and adding stickers in place where they were needed. This set is a bit bigger than the Dark Trooper attack set and in my opinion it is a lot more comprehensive what it actually features. I really like this set. I'm not sure on the mechanical parts specifically the floor tiles that move to displace the minifigure that stood on top. I kind of see what they were going for but usually ends up sending them flying across the whole set or on the floor in my guess. The door mechanical feature on the other hand that is really well thought out. You can use the lever on this side to open the door or the lever on the other side of the set and it opens up really well. It doesn't open fully and I believe that's intentional but enough to see Darth Vader through the doorway with a variety of different colour translucent slopes and tiles used to give the impression of fire around the door frame. As for the minifigures in this set we get seven in total which are two stormtroopers, two rebel troopers, Captain Antilles, Darth Vader and Ark Trooper 5s which I was pleasantly surprised by. The stormtrooper minifigs are your normal run of the mill minifigs with dual molded helmets printing on the front and back of their torsos with some printing on the front of their legs. The rebel troopers are also nothing extravagant and feature a helmet which uses two elements, the helmet and the blacked out visor which attaches to the helmet. They feature printing on the front and the back of their torsos too but no printing on the legs with two facial expressions on each of them. Moving on to Captain Antilles, he features different colour clothing but largely the same as the Rebel Troopers with two facial expressions and printing on the front and back so it's nothing special like I said but I had no expectations. The Darth Vader minifigure for this set isn't new, it's been seen in the TIE Bomber set and the Emperor's Throne Diorama set. That's not to say there's anything wrong with it, I think it looks really good with a nicely moulded helmet with a neck brace completing his helmet assembly 
assembly with printing on his torso, back, front of his legs and some on his arms. Then we get on to the surprise exclusive minifigure of this set. That being Arc Trooper 5s as I said before. This minifigure looks really good with printing pretty much everywhere on the minifigure itself. Shoulder accessories as well as a little backpack build along with his own guns which definitely separate this minifigure from the others in this set. And quite honestly I think this is my favourite Star Wars minifigure to this day. That brings me to the conclusion and honestly I don't know where to begin. The build for this set was awesome. The features were really well thought out. The minifigures while some of them were basic they delivered and all of this £40. Is it worth the price? Honestly I think it is and I highly recommend it. A lot of people are buying it just for the Arc Trooper 5's minifigure and then sell the rest for fairly cheap so if you are on a budget and want to save a little bit more money definitely consider going down that route. So what do you guys think of this set? Are you planning to pick up this set? If you are let me know in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next video.